Hello, everybody. We are on a ride on a crazy destination. My name is Vincent Huss, and I'm here with my co-founder, Henry, and CTO, Feodor. As kids, we hacked our high school computers and repeatedly skipped classes to go traveling. So here's a photo of such an amazing backpacking trip to, Mon to Indonesia. And when I see photos like these, I strongly believe that you will never, ever regret traveling. So when we were preparing our trip to Indonesia, we found a flight ticket online for 500 euros. And it took us three months to save up the money for our holiday. And then we had to pay 200 euros extra because our flight ticket increased in price. Now, we are not the only ones to have this problem. To be fair, who doesn't? So then we thought the customer of today wants to pay everything per month. Your Netflix and Spotify subscriptions and your new iPhone 7. So that is how we came up with a simple idea. Let's make it extremely convenient to spread the cost of your ticket over monthly terms. So you can protect yourself against rising airfares by locking in prices months in advance. So let me show you our product. As you can see, we are greeted by this beautiful and hyper-functional website, where I just say where I travel from, where I travel to, the dates of my holiday. And then the cool part is that I can select the payback period that I need. Maybe I want to pay back everything over three months. Or do I need more flexibility to pay it back over 12 months? As you can see, the search results are displayed as prices per month. This is a ticket to Indonesia for only 50 euros per month. In the checkout, you easily fill in your personal details, and then a credit check is performed by the credit provider. Once green light is given, we purchase the ticket from the airline and send it directly to the customer. This whole process is fully integrated and just takes seconds. Then the customer pays his monthly ticket price back to the credit provider, and everybody is happy. Now, this is truly an amazing solution because FinTech is not about technology. FinTech is a movement, a movement, in our view, based on two principles that will shape the future of the financial industry. First, It is about transparency and control. It is about making sure that a customer truly knows what he spends ahead of time, per month, and that he genuinely understands. Not because there was a 70-page terms and conditions sent through your email, but genuinely understands. And second, it is about accessibility. It is about creating automated financial services that are blind. Blind to race, to class, and to gender. Blind decisions that are generally good decisions. Now, Flimbul is our expression of these beliefs, who have given us the strength and the courage as a team to do very well in building this company so far. We have found product market fit. During our time here in the Startup Bootcamp program, we conducted a large experiment. And with initial advertisement testing, we attracted a group of over 3,000 users to our website and measure the demand for our product. For every one euro that was spent on advertisement, generated two euros 50 in revenue, measured by, the, by people pressing, pressing on our purchase button. So that is Flimbo. But what about our business model? We earn a fixed booking fee from the end customer and the percentage affiliate income from our credit providers and airlines that we work with. Now, last year, we raised 170K. With that, we have built our website, which is up and running, and validated our product with initial advertisement testing. Now we are preparing for full market launch and are raising 300K to iterate our product and optimize sales conversion ratios. Of this 300K, we allocate 55% on 
on development, 25% on operational expenses, and 20% on marketing. So we can reach our goal of 2,000 flight tickets per month, or about 85K in monthly revenue by the end of 2017. Now, our biggest barrier to going live has always been finding a provider of credit. And we have just made breakthrough partnership agreements with credit providers in the UK and Germany. And that means that we are going live in August this year. Thank you. Yeah. And that is great news for our mission to become the travel home to the social media generation. And our international ambitions are reflected by the variety of nationalities that we have on our team. I'm Polish, while my co-founder Henry is Dutch. Fyodor, our CTO, is from Belarus and manages a team of four extremely talented developers who are here with us tonight and have proved their skills in the past when they wrote the software of Home and Joy, a startup that raised $40 million. And Andrea, our marketing manager, is from Spain and has not only experienced the success, but also the scars of travel entrepreneurship, having both worked at a startup that went bankrupt and one that got acquired by Airbnb. Now, what you see here tonight is just the tip of the iceberg. Our flight search algorithms are 16 times faster than the ones that you're using today. You can try it out at flimble.com. And our goal is to build a next generation travel platform. And in the coming months, we're progressing towards that goal by adding some awesome applications, such as Flight Invite. We all know the time and energy it takes to organize a group travel. Well, with Flight Invite, you easily invite your friends to join your flight and travel together, as easy as accepting a friend request on Facebook. And we are also gamificating travel. If holidays are fun, a travel platform should be too. During your travels, you can earn trophies and badges, score points and beat your friends in the high scores. But if you want to learn more about that story, join us at our stand, because we are ready for takeoff. Thank you.